So everything is hand cut then here? Nothing yes, there, there's no machine harvesting in what we're doing here. Okay. And uh -huh. it's all done specifically based on your your requirements and specifications of that okay. size and what you want. And so you can see this is a nice little mustard green. Oh, okay. You can taste that. It's got a good bit of spice and fire to it. Mm. Needs a little bacon. Yeah. <laughs> Do your accountants ever get a clue on that? I mean, here we are in a world that oil is $49 today, and it was $149 a barrel three months three ago. Three months ago. And so the, the, the consumer doesn't trust prices anymore. Right. They think it's all fake. Right. But you and I are really working hard to keep these long-term arrangements, and, and having the same price on, a, on some produce year-round is a pretty odd thing. Right. And I mean, and that's where you brought up earlier. You know, that's the benefits of having a partnership and being local. That you and I can sit down and you and I may argue on some things, but normally we both come out on top. Where I'm getting what I need and you're getting what you need. Where if I was trying to buy this from California and I'm on the phone arguing with somebody, they could be holding the phone out here, going, "I'm not listening to you anymore," <laughs> and have no clue right. of what I'm saying. And by that, I get angry, I stop using them, and all of a sudden on our dishes you start seeing things, you know, beautiful flowers disappearing. You know, a lot of people, still today, a lot of people don't understand that you can eat these roses, or eat the violets, or to them a garnish is a garnish. It's, it would be like sticking a piece of plastic on top of your food and they're picking it up and setting it inside. But as time has been going on, and we educate our staff to let them know that you can eat it and we're actually putting other things than just taking a rose and popping it in your mouth and eating it because that is foreign to a lot of people. We're starting to see more and more and more people actually taking advantage of what we're putting on it by saying, hey, that is local. You want to support the local movement? They'll just pay for it. Actually try it and eat it. And people are actually starting to do it now. There's something going on now where some vendors think the market ought to go to November instead of October. I think it's a pretty good idea, um, as long as is we have produce uh -huh. into November. I and mean, I, I guess it really depends on the year, what, what you have available. Some people have it all year. The city sees the value in, in the farmer's market, and nothing's going to be done. You know, they're not going to sell the lot uh -huh. unless there's a home for the city market. Okay. I mean, they see, they see the value and know that the market is so important okay. to Charlottesville and the residents. So next week we'll explore the deeper values and hidden benefits of local food systems. We'll also look at how waste products can be recycled into chicken feed. For more information about Meet the Farmer TV, visit our website, meetthefarmer.com.